the caribou was really only passing through the tundra land of Newfoundland when the town got in the way. The Buckins mine was all closed down and everybody was leaving town while they were out of luck. They were out of war and she knew that she had to stay. She had to stay. She made them laugh again Oh, she made them smile again She made the whole town of Buckles Hold together again Now I believe it's the first time And you know it may be the last time Did you see people share their town with a caribou? Think about it! Edible, it went down. She nibbled all of the grass, bread and molasses, even Mr. Pritchard's flowers. You see, word spread out all across the land. They said, A pet caribou. Now that's some man. Well, the tourists came in and they brought all their tourist dollars. Well, the town was laughing again. They were smiling again. To heck with the mine, boys. They were pulling together again. Clarence may have been the first time. Come to think of it, it might be the last time. The people share their town with the caribou. There might be a moose in Sudbury something. an end. And three years after she wandered in, it seems that the call of the wild took Clarence back to the top wall. But word has it that come the spring, Clarence is going to come back again with the whole darn herd. Now think of them tourist dollars. Well, they're going to be laughing again. I swear they're I mean a whole herd of care.